Hi everyone, I am Balaji Chipada and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In continuation of our SQL series, in this video, we will take a real world data set, specifically IMDB movies data set, and then we will load it in our database such that we will learn all of your SQL techniques on top of this data set. The primary goal is to take the real world data set and learn SQL using that data set so that it will be easy for you to apply these skills in the real world. And we will also understand what is this IMDB movies data set about and the table schema and then we will dive into the SQL workbench and load the data set. Without any delay, let's get started. So let's understand the high level information of what kind of data set that we have. So we are using this IMDB movies data set and the main purpose of using this data set is to learn SQL using a real world data. So it will be beneficial for you to once you learn how you can apply SQL on a real world data set. And one more thing is like the data set is fairly huge because it's a very huge amount of data and that will help us in exploring or handling the data set at scale using SQL. And you will also see the power of SQL on these huge amounts of data. Hopefully that is clear. And to give you a overview of the data set, we have approximately 388,269 movies information and the movies are ranging from 1888 to 2008. I know this is not the latest data but this is for the, the education purpose only. And then we have 817,718 actors data, all of these actors who acted in these movies and we have approximately 86,880 directors data for all the movies that they have directed and hopefully you understand the scale of the data right this is a really huge amount of data right so this is what we use moving forward in our sql uh, series and it is mandatory for you to understand the data now let's talk about this imdb website imdb is a popular website which is dedicated for movies now they have expanded to podcast and all other stuff as well but this is a website in which you get a huge amounts of information regarding the movies like when a movie is released and what year it got released who are the actors what kind of genre the movie is who is the director and a lot of information about lot of movies are present in this website and moreover you have the movies from all the different languages as well not only region specific we have english hindi german spanish we have a lot of movies collection on this website and we'll be using this website's data for educational purpose only. And before going into this data set, I want to explain the schema of the data set. Now let's understand what is schema. Uh, in the previous videos, we have learned about how you can split a big table into smaller tables such that it is very easy for you to access and modify data and to also make the data normalized, right? If you haven't watched the previous video, please do watch it out. So we have the IMDB data, which is a database in multiple tables. I have approximately seven tables here and I will explain all of these tables in detail. So first let's talk about this table one, director's table. Here it has three columns, ID, first name and last name. And this is basically the data type of each column. Whenever we say int, that means it's integer. So ID is a column which is of integer data type and varchar means it's a string data type. The first name and last name are of string data types. And here ID is the unique identifier for each director and this will be considered as primary key for this table. We have learned about primary key and foreign key and composite key in the previous videos, right? So if you haven't watched that video, please do watch it out to understand the difference between all of these things. And then we have table two, which is called movies table in which we have ID, name, year and rank. So ID can be of integer data type and name is varchar which is of string and rank is a float and in year is an integer. Here again the ID is column acting as a primary key in this data set and we have the name of the movie and we have the at which year it got released and what is the rank of this movie. And then we have table three which is the information regarding actors. Here I have ID first name, last name and the gender of the actor. Here also we have ID as the primary key and we have all the information about the actors and we have ID as an integer data type, first name and last name as strings and gender as a character. So character means it could be either male or female, it would be one character. Hopefully that is clear. And then we have four different uh, tables which is basically let's talk about roles table. 
here we have three columns actor id movie id and the role so here if you notice actor id and movie id combinedly forms a primary key which is called a composite key right so technically in a particular movie a particular actor can have only one role unless and until the character is having a dual roles but majority we will talk about in a movie a particular actor can have only one role so the combination of actor and movie together forms a primary key and we call that method as a composite key hopefully that is clear and one more thing you need to understand here is so actor id is an id column in which you can link with this table actors okay so when i say actor id 1 i will come and check the id in which it is 1 so that i will get the information about that actor so whenever you are noticing these connections here like this 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 these are all connections from one table to another table you can connect from any column to any column but i will be explaining what columns we have to connect on to get more information out of this we have seen this technique in the previous videos guide this is called a relational database that means we have multiple tables split into smaller smaller chunks and we do have the connection between all of these tables to generate information hopefully that is clear if you have any queries so far please let me know in the comment section below understanding this data set is very necessary because moving forward we will be using only this data set to understand and learn sql now from this table let's also talk about foreign key in the movies table we have id as primary key and in the actors table this id as primary key in this table roles table i have actor id and movie id so when i have to link between these two tables i will link like this right this actor id should present in this id column and this movie id should present in this movies table such that i can get the link so that is why we treat this as a foreign key so this actor id is a foreign key to this table actors and movie id is a foreign key to this table movies now let's talk about the next table which is our table movies genre some people call it as genre some people call it as genre it would be anything i will call it as genre so we have movie id and the genre okay so this movie id will be acting as a foreign key to this table id and then we have the genre of that movie and it is of varchar data type and the next table we have table 6 movies director so here i have the director id and the movie id so from this you will get who is the director for that particular movie and these two columns will be acting as a foreign key for this uh, table directors and the movies and the last table we have directors genre and here we have director id and the genre of the movie that he will shoot and the probability of this director shooting this kind of genre movies so probability can be of any value between 0 to 1 it could be 0 0.7 0 0.6 0 0.2 0 0.289 it could be anything but here probability what it means is the probability of this director directing a genre of any kind of movie now as we understood all of these tables i will brief this once again very quickly so that you will understand it clearly so i have total seven tables in which I have directors, movies, actors, roles, movies genre, movies directors and director genres. And in this directors column, we have ID as a primary key. Here we have ID as primary key. Here we have ID as primary key. In the roles column, together both combinedly will call it as primary key or else we call it as a composite key as well. And this actor ID is acting as a foreign key to this table. And this movie ID is acting as a foreign key to this table. So that is what these connections are all about. Whenever there is a connection, that means that particular table is acting as a foreign key to the particular other table, such that we can connect these two tables. And here we have movie ID and it is connected to the movies table because of foreign key. And we have movies director, we have both information regarding director and the movie and both of these columns are acting as a foreign key to these two different tables. And then we have the last table in which director ID is present and that is present as a foreign key to this director's table. Hopefully you understood all the table information in our database called IMDB and this is very much needed to understand SQL moving forward in these sessions. So if you have any queries so far, please let me know in the comment section below and I will reply to each and every one of you. 
now that we have understood the table schema and what kind of data that we have let's go and load this data set into our sql workbench so that in the next videos we will start learning the sql seriously now let's understand how you can load this imdb movies data set onto your sql workbench open the sql workbench on on this page click on the local instance button and give the password that you have set while setting up this installation and if you haven't watched the installation video please do check it out i will link it inside this video and once you are done opening this you will be assigned on this page and on the left pane you can click on the button called schemas and here you will get to see all the database that are present onto your workbench and if you are using a windows machine then you will get this schemas option on the bottom of this left pane and then i would recommend everyone to download this imdb.sql dataset i will be providing the link to download in the description of this video and once you download this double click on this file and it will give you this pop up saying it's a very large file and you can open the script or else you can run the script if you are having a laptop which is not that much powerful i would say run this sql script or else you can click on open the script as well and once you open the script you can get to see a lot of sql code by looking at it don't worry we will be able to understand all of this in the later parts of this video so once it is opened click on this icon on the top so what it will do is it will execute all of the sql code that is present inside your imdb dataset and it will take some time to load all of this data set so please be patient and i would highly recommend if your machine is not that much powerful instead of opening this file i would say run sql script so what it is basically doing is if you refresh your schema page on the top right corner you can get to see we got a new database called imdb and inside this we have tables and all the tables that we have discussed in the previous section of this video we have actors table directors table director genre movies movies director movies genre and uh, roles as well so we got all the information about all the data that we have talked about onto your database and now you can fetch the data from this database and you can learn sql easily by using this data so once it is done it says completed so once it is done you can create one more sql file by clicking on the top left corner here and you say use imdb for now let's forget about the syntax i will teach you all the syntax in the later videos what we are saying is we are saying this sql workbench to use this imdb dataset that we just created and let's execute this here it says use imdb it got successful because it is a green tick and once it is done you can say select star from movies let's say and if i execute this here i get to see the data from the movies table see so all of these are movies and then we have the movie name movie id year and the rank score as well we have some null values and blah 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 we will understand all of this in the later video but we were able to get this data loaded onto the sql workbench so that we can learn sql on top of it hopefully that is clear and if you have any queries during the installation or during the loading of this data set please let me know in the comment section below i will be able to provide you the assistance that is needed and that's all for this video guys in this video we have learned about what is an imdb data set and what kind of tables we have and we also understood the schema of this imdb database and we have seen what are primary keys foreign keys composite keys and what is the relation between all of these tables and we have also seen how you can download this data set and how you can load this onto your sql workbench and we have tested to load this data using a select star of movies and if you are able to do all of these things you are in a good position and you will be able to follow all the later videos and if you are not able to do or follow any of the parts of this video please let me know i will be there to assist you that's all for this video if you are liking what you are watching please do hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to get notified daily and we will meet in the next video see ya bye bye